go and check out my very own Rust server, IUK Island. Link in the description. Hey, so a lot of people don't actually realize that they aren't subscribed. So please, if you enjoy my videos, do me a favor and check to see that you're actually subscribed. It helps out more than you actually think. Welcome back. So, the last time you saw me I was playing with Onrocker and the Swedish guy, and we had just managed to get rid of one of the biggest clans on the server, OTL. And so, with this one story nicely tied up, another one was about to begin. And it would be some of the most fun I've ever had in Rust. Now, Onrocker and Swedish were both done with their wipe. But there were still so many clans left on the server, and so I decided to continue solo. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. There is a lot to fall in love with at Manscaped.com, including the perfect package 4.0. Your all-in-one head-to-toe men's grooming and hygiene kit. Let's check it out. First and most important thing to highlight in this kit is their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. It's cordless and waterproof so you can trim in the shower which is super convenient and makes for an easy cleanup. For a limited time when you buy the perfect package 4.0 kit you also get two free gifts. The shed travel bag and the manscape anti-chafing boxer briefs. Treat yourself right. Head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code IOK20 for 20% off. With this you get free international shipping plus the two free gifts. Again, thank you to my friends at manscaped.com for supporting my channel. The plan was simple. Just try and get into as much trouble with the remaining clans as possible. And it didn't take very long since on my first roam of the day I started hearing some rockets in the distance. I wasn't able to get out of the compound because of a turret, and so instead I found a gap in the compound and transferred all of the loot through there. Great start to the day. Nice. We had used most of our resources to take down the clan last night, and so I needed any loot I could get my hands on. And so, when I heard some explosions coming from a compound close by, I headed over to check it out. Kidding me? No, no, man, no way. I'm going back. This is so stupid. How did that work?
Okay, this is alright. I didn't like getting explosives, which kinda sucks, but... Got a free minicopter. Which is super nice. I started hearing some shots next to my base, and I headed over to check it out. Holy... What? Loaded. I headed over to launch site to take Bradley. Bro, what is this timing? No way someone else is coming to take it. Oh no, he's definitely taking it. No way, there's just one. Three rockets, I'll take it. I headed back to base and depot the spare kit, and then I ran back. The fuck? Holy! Oh my fucking god, what a what a badly! Whoa! Let me go back and check the farmer's body. Bad man. I had opened up a shop earlier this morning and it was starting to give me a stupid amount of sulfur. And so to restock on everything I decided to do a raid. And there was this group living right next to me. I haven't shown much fighting against them since they would basically not leave their base and the only fights I had against them was outside of their base. But they had come over and threatened to offline raid and boasted about how much sulfur and loot they had. I'm talking like sulfur ways, like 70k, 60k. And so I decided to see for myself if they were telling the truth. Okay, I really wanna raid my neighbors over here. Cause I mean, they did say that they had 80k sulfur, so... They've been here for so long now, and no one has raided them. I haven't heard them do any raids, so like, they just have to be loaded, I feel like. Fuck's sake. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Nice. These guys are gonna be loaded, holy fuck. Cloth. Got like no cloth and low grade, so this is so nice. Really? The tier 3 isn't broken? There we go. Nice. Okay, it wasn't as much sulfur as I had hoped for, but we'll have to do. So actually, 
Actually, never mind. That's a lot of explosives. Basically, it's not profit in explosives, but it's okay. It definitely wasn't the sulfur jackpot I was promised, but they did have a lot of loot and resources I really needed. A clan next to outpost took down Heli. Those guys are online. It's gonna be fucked. No way. Should kill both. Red chicken, bro. What are you looking at? No, he's so low. Yes. Oh my god, we need to go. I want that loot though. I want the other guy. I'm so greedy. No, I deserve that. I was so greedy. You can't win all the fights. But after this cargo ship came out, and so with the minicopter I had acquired earlier, I headed over to counter the group that was taking it. Well, there's people here. That's for sure. This one. Oh my god! I was not ready for that. What a cargo run! Went here with one MP5 and got four AKs, two MP5s, rocket C4, bunch of high qual. Holy shit, that was a good cargo ship. We out! At this point I had more loot than I knew what to do with, and so it was time to really start messing with the clans of this server. I first headed over to the clan by outpost. Saw me. Bye. Oh, we need to go. Need this. They're so mad. 
we go again. It has to be all dead. No! It's in the body. No way! Me dying here really didn't matter. I knew I was starting to get under their skin. And my shop just kept giving me more and more sulfur and at this point I didn't even know what I was going to use it for. But it was time to get some sleep. When I woke up the next morning I started hearing some boom in the distance. I'm going there. Turret. There we go. Lag. Oh my god. Nice. Holy stone. Well, we're out. I headed back to the raid to see if he would come back with more explosives. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was gonna come back. Easy. I was collecting explosives insanely quickly. Other than just countering raids, I was taking every single heli I could get my hands on. Down. Hey. I was starting to make my way through cooking up all the sulfur from my shops and there was this clan by Launchite and every time they would try and take Bradley I would be there. I think it's just one. Fuck it. Never mind. Okay, now I think. Now I think I'm good. I'm such a rat. Easy. The fucking components. Holy shit. Easy to say that at this point I was more loaded than I think I've ever been in Rust. But my shops were really the MVPs for my success. But trust me, going up solo against the clans of the server isn't all success and loot. I had my fair bit of losing as well. Jesus Christ. But I also had a lot of nodes around my base, and I couldn't be asked to farm them, but instead the clan's farmers would come over and farm it for me. It's a clan farmer, kill him! Yes, die! And this, of course, would piss off the clans even more. They're not happy. I killed their farmer, and now they're mad. They brought out the M2? What?
and anytime my clan tried to raid in my area, I would be there. Hello. I win. Ooh. Nice. No explosives though. So many. Oh my god. <laughs> no! That was such a stupid push. I mean, it worked out, but still, it was a stupid push. Oh, nice! C4. I met a trio that had just gotten started and so I gave them a few guns to help them out against the clans. But unfortunately they got raided overnight by the Lonshite clan that I had been stealing Bradley from. It was unfortunate but not much I could have done about it. And so I just continued roaming around the map. How am I alive? Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. Whoa. I'm so lucky. Easy. <laughs> Even more explosives than I can put in my vending machine. Yes. I crafted a lot of my sulfur into rockets and then I put them in a vending machine to try and bait an offline raid for even more rockets hopefully. Bro, if we win this raid that's gonna come, like, 
We are going to be so loaded on rockets. We're going to be able to do whatever we want. If we want a foundation wipe, we can foundation wipe. Because we gotta have so many rockets. It's actually gonna be nuts. I put on my alarm at 3 in the morning and well, it worked like a charm. Here we go. Oh, they're in it. Green core. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, they're in and ow. This fucked. Like two dead. I'm pretty sure if I can just seal the base, it's GG. GG Where are they? Like how far in are they? Mm, I killed two here Well, GG Unfortunately, they had used up all of their explosives, and so we was back to getting explosives in other ways. Okay, I'm nuts. Oh, more rockets too. That's so nice. Kill is just loaded. Okay. Oh, God. Of course. What the? Okay. At this point I'd like to just explain that my PC had been on for a few days and let's just say it was starting to take its toll. But it didn't stop me from making plays.
Oh, it's so laggy, I need to restart my game. Holy fuck, I'm playing on like 3 FPS. How the fuck did I win that fight with like fucking 2 FPS? Yeah, I'm friendly, I defended, I killed the raiders. You want to loot? I I'm pretty loaded if you want to loot. You want your AK and shit back? Hello? Come out naked, come up to- Come up top. Why? I can give you your shit back. I don't really need it. Gumi. Wait, I'm gonna take uh, clothing. I'm getting red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But don't come out, come out with a gun. No, no, poor, poor, poor. I am friend. Yeah, yeah, come, 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 come down. Uh, come down or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 def I defended it. You're welcome, dude. Thank you, thank you. Did you get the, the rockets and shit? Cause I couldn't, I couldn't find it. No, 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 no rockets. Cause like that's that's no, like none. No, I don't know. Maybe he run. Yeah, maybe. Let's see, dude. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Are you cheater? No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I tried to help you because you're a solo player. Okay, so that uh, what I just showed you is why you never help anyone in Rust. You never. Like, when I don't care about loot, I start being nice to people and help people and stuff like that. But uh, when I don't have that much loot, you can't be nice to people because they're just gonna fuck you over. Like, 80% of the people are gonna fuck you over. Yoink. Now at this point I had a vending machine with rockets and so I figured another offline raid was about to come. I think so, someone has scouted my base with the minicopter and, I, and then they flo uh, now they're flying to military base. Yep, I'm getting raided right now. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Maybe I shouldn't have shot. I might have been stupid. After they saw that I was online, they called off the raid. And that night, no one came. The next day, I didn't really have any time to play. But as it was starting to get late again, I figured that this time my raid had to come. Here we go. Here we fucking go.
<sighs> I'm not moving until they start rocketing. Please be a big group. Don't play like a fucking duo or trio. That's gonna be so boring. I waited two hours for our raid to start, but again, no one came. They're just being annoying. Bro, what's up with all these pussies raiding the compound? Just sending MLRS rockets and then just not doing anything. Like this time I even... I waited... It's been over two hours since <laughs> someone, someone sent those rockets. And nothing has happened. Like I probably haven't showed the compound after every MLRS rocket. But look how fucking abused. Like this was a nice compound before and now it's just fucked. Because it's been destroyed so many times. And we built in quite a fucked spot and so it was hard to rebuild. Like it's so fucked right now this compound. It was really starting to piss me off that no one on the server wanted to raid me. And so that day I took my frustrations out on the server. So bad, so tired.
It was starting to get late again, and now I had a full vending machine with rockets for 3 straight days without a single raid attempt. I was really starting to lose hope. Bro, is this not getting fucking... Are they done soon? Like, are they gonna come and raid me? Or are they just gonna bump my base every... Every day? And then not do anything? The way he actually loses that. And it's a full on offline. They only br brought HV rockets. Of course to take out turrets and see if I'm online. And now they're not gonna call me and finish the raid. <sighs> These guys are so annoying. Yeah, they never came back. But I now knew exactly who it was that would send MLRS rockets at my base every night and then just not do anything. It was the group I launched at. And I think it's time I explain this group to you and just how scummy they are. They lived by the coast next to bandit camp and launch at, and anyone that moved in next to them would be bullied off the server. Now I tried my best to help these people Killed all of them, close the, close the door. But they would just get offline raided as soon as everyone was offline. But this is not what made these guys so scummy. No, they were way more scummy than this. As you know I've been hard at work trying to collect as many explosives as possible and one way I've been doing that is trying to take every single heli. But almost every single time heli came out this group by launchite would take it down instead. And so after losing a bunch of helis to them I decided to head over to their base with an mp5 to see what I could do. And this is when I realized just what kind of clan this was. Cheating. Yeah, they were using a hacker. He got banned a few hours later, but I knew he would probably just come back on another account and so for now there wasn't much I could do. I fixed up my base for a third time and I was really starting to lose hope of an offline raid this wipe. Am I actually getting raided or is it... Is it just another? I'm waiting until I hear rocket launchers. I don't care. I'm waiting until I hear real rockets. I I'm not moving.
Fuck! Let me out! Where am I? Well, I can't see anything. What the fuck? Helly! <laughs> Oh my god! Get the loot! Get inside!
Yeah, take it down. Fuck this alley man. Getting raided. I need to push now. Oh, it's so laggy right now. Fuck! Thank you. 
I mean, I guess that will have to count as the online raid. I built too, too good of a base. The raid was over and I was victorious. And with my craving for an online raid clenched, it was time to get back to work. You see, there was something I could do against this group I launch at. I had a vending machine filled with rockets, perfect for a group like this. But there was no way in hell this group deserved an online raid. And so I was going to have to wait for them to go offline. But while we wait, might as well mess with them a bit more. <laughs> of course they just find me immediately. <laughs> I think that will do it. I waited for every single one of them to log off and then it was time to get rid of one of the scummiest clans I've ever run into. Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a lot of Choices you make What appears to be right Seems you just have no say as if you're a witness to your own mistakes It's easy to play along After you see what the choices came to be Like a storm that's passed on Blow the brain down the drain Blow the fuse, the abuse Oh please, storm fell tree Fight over who's right Trying to remember all the shit that went down I don't know what your intention was Like trying to memorize the Bible backwards to the start And sight from my heart upside down Oh please, on your knees Before I fight, you're wrong, this fight is lifelong. See the water flowing on the bridge. I, my friend, has come to pay its dues. Show it you. Jesus.
Bro, there's too much loot. Oh my god. I guess using cheaters in your clan really, really makes you rich, huh? But well, now, now you're not gonna have any loot. After I transferred most of the loot, they started to log back on. And so, to make sure they really got the message, I decided to send over a few more MLRS rockets. I don't think they're gonna rebuild now. I think the base, the base is gone. <laughs> oh. And yeah, they never tried to rebuild. Their time on the server was up. And honestly, so was mine. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's 100% the most fun I've ever had making a video. Even though it was a pain to make. Please, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure that you join my Discord server and follow me over on Twitter. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.